One of the recent feature additions to 3D Coats is the 3D printing supports, which used to only be available in the 3DC printing application. And what it does is allow the user to generate supports where you have overhanging portions of a model, such as the arms here. 3D Coat will have to evaluate the object to determine where to place supports based on the default parameters here. You can clear them all together and to generate them anew, you can click update. You can also quickly hide them all temporarily if you like. You can also click transform and apply basic transforms to the entire model. You can also make your model snap to the ground if it's not already. lay on the ground is very similar. The first thing you'll notice is when you hover over one of these, these, they are highlighted red. That means once you left mouse click on it, 3D Coat will remove it. Let's go ahead and clear the supports for the moment. And let's say we want to create our own, or maybe if you want to add some, you can simply left mouse click on a portion where you want the top end of the rod to connect. Let's do so here in the armpit region. We can place one under the chin if we need. Okay, now let's make adjustments to these rods. If we need, we can adjust the overall thickness of the top end of the rod by adjusting this parameter. You can adjust it numerically as well. Let's make it five. Let's go back to two. Minimal length is fairly self-explanatory. It just sets the smallest length a rod can be, but most of these are so long it really has no effect other than to repopulate all the rods. So I'm going to undo. End radius is basically adjusting the radius right at the point where it touches the model. Now, the other one that we looked at here, rod top diameter, is basically adjusting this area. This one, end radius, adjust it right here where we make contact. So let's make that one. You can see how it's changing it. Let's go back to point two to make it very easy to, to snap off. The top diameter, let's adjust that again. Let's go four. You can see what I'm talking about. Right where it touches, it doesn't, it's not affected, but it does affect this portion here right before it makes the break. I'll go back to something like two. Distance between rod. I'm just going to click update and let 3D Coat generate these on its own. So now when we change the distance between rod, let's make that eight. As we bump this up, the more separation or the less we have of these. So let's go to 12. And one important side note is the separation occurs at the top of the rod rather than the bottom. The next parameter is floor thickness and that too is rather self-explanatory. It's going to dictate just how thick this layer is here at the bottom. Let's adjust that upward. Let's make it 0 0.8, 0 0.1. Let's make it 1. Then we can click Advanced if we want to adjust the critical angle, which basically determines how much an object can overhang before it creates a support. Rod shape is determined by how many sides or how many segments you apply to it. If I increase the number up to 12, you can see how it makes it more conical rather than triangular in shape. Large cone angle sets the thickness of the cone at the bottom. So when we click export for print with supports, we'll get a dialog that lets us export in the format that we prefer.
So that's a quick look at working with 3D printing supports in 3D Coat.